Hey, what's up? Matt Wolf here from GetThriveCart.com. Now, the other day I was sort of thinking of ways that someone could use ThriveCart if maybe they didn't have a product yet. And I actually saw a very, very cool example of somebody who really, really quickly created a product that you could potentially sell with ThriveCart. So I wanted to short, sort of give you an example of a way that you can get started with ThriveCart right now even if you don't have a product to sell, using the example I saw. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the example and then how to set it up in Thrivecart, so let's go. All right, so I opted into this email list not too long ago, and immediately after opting in, they actually put an offer in front of me, and the site was at this uh, timfilmingham.com, and basically what the offer said was, subscription confirmed, your course is on its way, the first lesson will arrive in your inbox shortly. So basically what I opted in for was a list building course. It was like a seven day email sequence on how to build your list, and each day you would receive a new email uh, that would give you a new tip on how to build your list, right? But look at what they did immediately after opting in. It says, want to get this course sooner? If you don't want to wait seven days to get the whole course, you can get the whole course now in this easy to read ebook, which you can download straight away for just $7. So uh, I took this screenshot and saved it to Evernote here and it didn't actually finish loading, but once it did load, there was actually a checkout box directly below this uh, that was uh, embedded right here on the site. And I thought, this is a really, really cool way to make some quick money without necessarily even having a product yet for sale. You can build out an email sequence in your autoresponder for, you know, a seven to 10 day email sequence that teaches something and drips out the content every day over a few days. And as soon as somebody opts in for that email course, you can immediately offer them an upsell and say, look, you can wait the full seven days and get the the training pieced out to you each day, or you could, for just $7, get an ebook, a PDF that just has this entire course. That seems like such an easy way to create your first little income stream with something like Thrivecart. All right, so let me go ahead and jump out of my Evernote screen here and um, show you exactly how I would go about setting this up. All right, so first things first, you need to write an email autoresponder sequence. So, you know, a seven to 10 day sequence where each day the email kind of teaches something new uh, over the, the course of the email sequence. We personally use Drip, but you can obviously do this in any autoresponder that, uh, that you know, Thrivecart integrates with, which is pretty much any of them, especially if you consider you can use Zapier. So we use Drip and we do have a handful of email autoresponder campaigns already set up in here including this one called Our Marketing Stack. Now this email sequence is a series of emails and each day you get a new email with a different tool that we use in our business. So each day it talks about a different software tool. And if you we click over here, you can see that this email sequence is one, two, three, four. Let's see, so we got 10 emails, 11, 12, 13 days long. It's a 13 day email sequence. All right, so what I would do is to make this email sequence into an easy PDF, I'd use a tool called Designer. Now this tool is really, really cool. It's, um, it's I think it's about 37 bucks per month, but it's a really, really simple, easy, fast way to make PDFs. And I actually have a special link that if you use Designer, you can actually get Designer for a $27 one-time fee. So you never, you don't pay monthly, you don't pay annually, it's just $27 one time. If you just go to Designer's website, it's 37 a month, but uh, if you use our special link, I think it's just $27 for life. Don't quote me on it, prices obviously change, it's not our product. It's not in our control, but it's a product we use and we love. And uh, you can see we get quite a bit of use out of it for making a bunch of different PDFs. So let me show you what I would do. I'd go to create a new project. Well, let's go ahead and call this project our marketing stack. And then I'm going to select create an empty project. And then we actually have a custom template that we made just for Evergreen Profits PDFs. It is down here somewhere. So I would use the template that we sort of pre-designed, but there's a ton of templates in here that you could use. Uh, so for the sake of this, let me just go ahead and use one of the existing ones. Let's go ahead, I don't want a two column. Uh, I want one of these one column ones. Let's go and use business six, just for the, the sake of this uh, example here. And I'm gonna click next. And then it asks me to enter a footer URL. So if somebody clicks on the link in the footer, where's it gonna go? 
our site is evergreen profits so i'm going to go ahead and just uh, make that the footer url and there we go let's just confirm everything here project name our marketing stack footer url evergreenprofits.com project type empty project template business so i'm gonna go ahead and click next and now it's going to open up this simple pdf designer here and uh let's go ahead and rename this to say our marketing stack evergreen profits and then i always like to you know sign our names on it too like so and then you can see I've got a blank PDF here and then let's go ahead and change this footer or sorry this is the header of the second page our marketing stack and then I could go ahead and edit this text page footer some additional text here you can see it already links to evergreenprofits.com but I'm just going to change the text to say evergreenprofits.com now all I've got to do is go to each one of these emails in our pre-written email sequence and copy and paste the content over. So let's go ahead and start with the subject line. Let's go over to designer. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this stuff that's already sort of pre-set up in here for me. There we go. Now I'm going to go to elements. Let's drop in a heading here and let's go ahead and replace this heading with my uh, subject line there. Then on my email, I'm actually going to click up here on view archive and it's going to show me sort of a archived URL version. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL up here, come back over here to designer, insert a new element. And I'm going to select new article, drag it right below my headline there, and then paste in that archive URL, click OK. And you can see it actually pasted it in, but it pasted it a little bit lower than I want. But there's actually a button up here that I can click that actually repaginates it and, and and fixes it all. So now this email here is imported. All right. So now I need to just go grab my second email here. So if I click back on emails, jump over to uh, the second email here, which is actually tool number one, copy the email subject, jump back to designer, come to elements, typography, bring this heading over here, replace the heading. All right, come back to my email, view archive, grab this URL here, come back to designer, click on element, components, new article, drag the new article below, paste the URL, click okay. It imported, but it imported it down to this second page here. So I'm gonna click this little, uh, looks like a refresh button, but it actually repaginates everything for us. All right, so second one's in there. I'll do one more example here, click on elements, click on typography, grab a heading, drop it in. Then I'm gonna close this archive over here, go back to my emails and I'm gonna grab my third email in the sequence, which is actually tool number two. Copy the email subject line, jump back over to designer, paste this in as the heading, come back over here, view archive, let's get the URL with this email in it. Come to the designer, add a new element, click on components, new article, drag it down below here, paste in my URL, click OK. It dropped it to the second page, so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I repaginate everything real quick. There we go. I could do this with all the rest of the emails, but that would be a really long video. But uh, you get the idea. I just grab each email, view the archive version of it, and import it into Designer. Designer maintains the styling of the email and uh, sucks it into your PDF, and you're good to go. Now where it says article title, um, one little quick fix for this real quick here. If I come all the way up to the top where it says our marketing stack, select this. There's this little H here, which will apply it to the, all the headers on all of the pages. So if I just click that real quick, click OK, and you can see my heading now says our marketing stack at the top of each page. In the footer, it actually put article title. If I come up here real quick to this Evergreen Profits uh, footer here, this little rectangle allows me to apply this same text to all footers. Click that, click OK. And you can see my Evergreen Profits link now is in the footer of every single page. And easy as that. You could have pretty much every single email imported over in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes. Once you're done, you come down here, go ahead and save your PDF and designer, and then click this little publish button. It gives you a few options. Let's go ahead and do PDF. 
export it. And there you go. We've got a PDF version of this. It says our marketing stack, our little cover image. And you can see in the PDF, all of our links are clickable. It's got all of my emails from this sequence here and it's ready to go. So my next step, let's go ahead and download this PDF to my computer, make sure it's available. Let's go ahead and click save it to my desktop here. And that PDF is ready to go. So the next easiest step, if you want to be able to offer this is to go to like a Dropbox account. So let's go ahead to go to Dropbox real quick a file, grab this PDF that I just saved to my desktop here. I'm going to throw it in my content library here and it's uploaded. Now I can view the details. I'm going to click here just so it shows me the file in Dropbox here. All right. I'm going to click on share. I'm going to click create a link. And now I have a Dropbox link for this PDF that anybody could pretty much use. So if I go ahead and paste this in here, we could actually see the downloadable PDF, uh, URL that people can use. All right, so the next step, let's go create this in Thrivecart here. So let's create a new product. Let's call it our marketing stack for label our marketing stack. Owner of this product is me. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into live mode. And I'm gonna click next. And then currency, and I'm gonna add a product price. All right, so it's a one-time fee. Let's just make it $7 like the example I showed you earlier. There's unlimited available. I'll click next here. Only allow one purchase at a time or allow multiple since it's a digital PDF. It's just a one purchase. So I'm gonna click save. Uh, I'm not going to do any digital sales tax or customize the invoice for this one. Let's go click next. You could add a bump offer if you want, but this is just an example here. Payment processor, let's go ahead and uh, allow people to check out with Stripe, PayPal, and Apple Pay. I don't have an authorized.net account, so just those three should do. Click next, not gonna set this up with affiliates. Support, I'm just gonna go with the support at evergreenprofits.com. And the success URL, I'm gonna paste in that Dropbox link that we just saved a minute ago. And let's give them two days to download it. So if they don't download it within two days of their purchase, that link will expire. That'll stop people from sharing that link around so much. All right, so I'll go ahead and click next. And then we can design our checkout. Uh, most of this process you've seen in other videos, so I'm not gonna get too in depth with this. I'm just gonna kind of quickly click through this stuff, obviously set up all your Google Analytics tracking and anything else, add a rule, make sure that you, if they purchase this main product, it adds them to your email list, um, whatever list you're gonna use. Sure, I'll just set this one up for uh, example purposes. Let's apply the tag, um, customer, marketing stack, click save, save and get URL. And I should have a checkout cart now. Not the most beautifully designed checkout part. I kind of skip past that part for the most part in this demo. But if somebody goes to purchase this, this email sequence PDF now, they will complete their order, be directed to the Dropbox download file, and have it ready to go. And it's really, really, really simple. You can do this with any autoresponder. You can do it with a free Dropbox account. The only tools you need to really make this happen as easy and fast as I just showed you is a, a tool called Designer that makes the PDFs really quick. And of course, Thrivecart, which makes checkouts really quick. So if you have Thrivecart already, but you don't know how, what to sell yet, that's a real quick thing that you can sell. Now, if you have designer already and you're not quite sure of a way to sort of recoup your investment in designer, that's a real quick way to create a real quick, easy income stream using designer. So hopefully you found this video helpful and uh, more tutorials like this coming in the future. See you guys later.